Hello everyone, welcome to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In this video, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. Launch the editor and create a grassland project. Click on part from game components. You should find three properties below, shape, color and material. There are altogether four shapes of parts, including cone, cube, cylinder, and sphere. Let's first choose the cylinder. After selecting the shape, we can also set the color and material of the part. We can directly change color and appearance section from the left property column. The eyedropper tool is also available. Click on the eyedropper icon on the left and your mouse cursor will turn to a cross. This tool allows you to lift colors from the position you click on. There are 21 preset materials in the editor. We select the grass material for display. Move the mouse to the scene. You will find that the set parts will move in the scene with the mouse. Left click to place this part on the map. If we no longer need this part, right click to cancel the current selection. Note that when the selected material has a color other than white, the editor will mix the material color with the color we selected. The part will eventually display in a mixed color. When a part in the scene is selected, we can adjust the position, orientation and size of the parts through the tools in the menu bar. Here we can see the difference between parts and blocks. While orientation and size are adjustable for parts, these properties of blocks and not be changed. We can also adjust the unit distance when the part moves. And the unit angle when rotating by setting the division value. Note, when the division value is at the minimum, movement or rotation can be regarded as a free operation state and is no longer limited to the division value. In addition, we can also directly modify the values of properties such as position, orientation, and size in the property view. Here's a little tip on how to place parts. There is a snap button in the scene window. When the snap button is turned on, when we add a part on an inclined part, it will get tilted to the proper angle automatically. Apart from the position, orientation and size we've just mentioned, there are many more properties that we need to learn about. For example, let's first look at the anchored attribute. When you want to keep a part stationary in the scene, so it won't drop due to gravity or move due to collision, we need to check the anchored attribute in the property view. In the running mode, we can see clearly that the parts will not fall or move from the air after checking the anchored attribute. The gravity property of the part is a physical property. It mainly controls whether the part is affected by gravity. This property is automatically checked when the part is created. If you cancel this property, the part will display in a weightless state. The collision attribute is also a physical property that is checked by default. If this property is cancelled, the unit will pass directly through this part when touching and will not get blocked. Next we look at the appearance properties of the part. The appearance property contains four sub-options. Color and material properties are similar. You can change the material and color of the currently selected part. The tile rate refers to the number of texture maps on the part surface. The larger the value, the denser the texture. We can adjust the texture density on the part by adjusting the tile rate in both X and Y directions. Pay attention to the transparency property here. When the value of transparency is less than 1, the part starts to turn transparent. When the value is 0, the part is completely invisible. The last property, shape, can change the currently selected part into three other shapes. Other properties in the property view, such as custom physical properties, velocity, and angular velocity, will be explained in subsequent courses. As for the properties in the gray part, their value will be calculated by the editor so let's set aside. Here's an example of scene built with parts. All constructions from this scene are built using parts. That's all for this video. 
We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next class.